Welcome to Triple D. You know what that is, right? <laughs> Diners, drive-ins, and dashes. Or what's drive-in? Dinos, drive-ins, and dives. High five on dives. Hosted by the legendary Guy Ferrari. I be the body be, honestly. Nah, 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 nah. Back to the back, back to the back, back to the back, back to the back. <laughs> I was just gonna say, how do you say his name, but it's Guy Ferrari. 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 All I know is he has sick ass hair and I'm jealous. If you don't know who Guy Ferrari is, you might um know him if I say this. Mayor Flavor Town? Somehow I just feel like he's imprinted in everyone's minds. I mean, Wait, is this the same guy who does Man vs. Food? No. Oh, okay. Because that's <laughs> a show. That that's a show I kind of actually got into. Oh boy. It was probably a few months ago I was thinking like, wait, he goes to all these dino drives and then dives. Why don't I try to find one, nail me, and go to it and see if Guy Ferrari knows what he's talking about. Like, is the food actually really good? So there's this dino drive in and dives and oh my, why am I making it so complicated? There's this place <laughs> in Omaha called California Tacos that was on Dino Driving and Dives. Here I am in Omaha, Nebraska. In 1914, a Belgian immigrant put up this building and opened up a pharmacy. He later passed it on to his son. Well, decades later, his son retires. The grandson stepped up and said, I'll take a shot, move back from Miami, and reopen the place his way. Serving all the classics. Chicken chimichanga. It's great. Beef enchilada. I do love how they call it California tacos when it's smack dab in the middle of the Midwest, and he's from Miami. It is on California Street in Omaha, Nebraska, so. That's why. The California taco. There we go. Even though he discovered it on a trip to the Caribbean. It's a puffy shell taco. That he brought to Omaha. Better version of a chalupa. Fly goodness in a taco. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. Never worked at a restaurant before in my Never life. Never worked at one. Went down to the Mexican grocery store. Pollo, chicken. They started giving you ideas. Yeah, they would point at what to use. Wait, can you picture if we see him now? That Wait. guy? We might see, like... This is 2009. You think he sold it? Or is he still, like... Did yeah, you go back is, to Miami? I know, yeah, this is 10 years ago. I kind of feel like he's more of like, maybe he has other restaurants now. I bet you it went to his head. And now like whenever he walks in, he has like sunglasses on and like yells at everyone so much. I say, no photos. <laughs> Put it in the bun divider. Look at that, what is that? Circa 1840? Patent 1931. Wow. And that's it, bye bye, let's fry. Let's do it. But after it's done cooking, you let it drain a little oh, bit of the oil. That's outstanding. Mm. This looks so good. I love watching him eat, cause like, he just says, mm, like, he's one of those eaters where like, he's gonna make noise. Mm. He's that person where he eats something, you wanna eat it. Mm. That's like a rare quality. You know, some people eat and it's so uptight, it's like, they ruin the vibe, but when he eats, like, I wanna eat whatever he's eating. I know, he's like a noisy eater and he loves it. I know, just lets it, lets all the pleasure flow through his body. Mm. I know, he, he's not scared of pleasure, and a lot of people are scared yeah. of pleasure. He has like full body pleasure moments on this show. Meat's got great flavor, crunchy. Look at all the juice in there. Mm. Oh, wow, that's good. Nice job, man. Appreciate that. Did Guy Ferrari lie on the show? Is this all one big effing fib? And we're gonna expose it all, and this, this place actually sucks? Keep watching to find out. Okay, should we get on our merry way? That's it. Rawr. A lion? A dinosaur? <laughs> Think of circles. And like, gut tingles. Mario Lopez? Yep. Oh my god, I knew it. That was some video from the outside of California Tacos and More. Yeah. I, I'm gonna redo it because I feel like that kind of is gross. That is some footage from the outside of California Tacos and more. They do have a little sticker on the door flexing on everyone that they've been on TV. Gotta respect it. Wait, I just realized. I shot that on my front door. <laughs> I was on TV. Anyway. I be the body be, honestly. Nah, 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 nah. Back to the back, back to the back, back to the back, back to the back. I also love how they say no soliciting. Like, are people trying to sell Girl Scout cookies at a restaurant? Like, bitch, get out. <laughs> it actually was pretty busy in there. At first I thought everyone was staring at this one table of people, and I was like, why is everyone in the whole restaurant staring at this one table? But then I realized above their table there was a TV and there was like a sports game on or some shit. I don't know what game it was. I don't know anything about that stuff. Yeah, I think it was baseball, but... B-ball. You see the menu? And I was glad. At first I thought it was the type of place where you have a wait on stuff. 
No, it's the type of place where you order and then you sit down. Those are probably my favorite types of places. Fast casual. Although the whole point of a waiter is to make it more comfortable, uh, sometimes it makes it uncomfortable. I hate having a waiter. It just ruins everything. You have to wait for them to come to your table. Sometimes they take a long time. We we ordered our food, of course, at the at the cash register, and they have a bunch of stuff. It took us probably five minutes to decide what we're getting. Did you just notice that every single menu is a TV? You didn't know that? No, isn't that funny? Is that how all restaurants are? It seems like expensive. Oh no, I think. Wait. Did I just get a poster? This is what I feel like it is. Usually at like Panera Bread and stuff, isn't it usually like a, a custom made screen. Yeah, well, was like, this is like an actual TV, so oh, that's like why I feel LG. like you're having like a moment, because usually yeah. they hide the logos. Is that how I was just making it a moment, or is it actually a moment? I think it is a moment. <laughs> <laughs> that was some video of us getting jinx, and yes, both of us do suicides. By the way, a suicide is when you mix jinx, it's from Urban Dictionary. Yep. Lemon and Diet Coke is delicious, and if you haven't tried it, where have you been? 85% Diet Coke, 15% lemonade. Perfect. I have the tightest bladder oh, ever, <laughs> so I went to the bathroom right away, <laughs> and I was kind of amazed because this was my first moment when we got into the restaurant where, where I was like, there's only one men's restroom at this place. Guy Ferrari was probably filming here, let's say two hours. He had to have used his bathroom, maybe even have taken a shit, because just by looking at him, you know he's one of those dudes that take a shit every three hours. Oh, and yeah. If I took a shit in this restroom, no, I didn't lick the toilet seat, but if I did, I'm licking Guy Ferrari's ass, which is weird to think about. But the bathroom experience was good, and I can't believe Guy Ferrari used it. I didn't even think about that when I used the bathroom. He literally whipped out his dick in there before. I know. Oh my god, that is cool. Jacob didn't notice it because his back was to the TV, but they had a little TV in the corner playing the diners, drive-ins, and dives episode on repeat, nonstop. And I loved it because from my seat, I could just keep looking at a guy Ferrari and I'm looking at the actual restaurant where it was filmed and it just was like a weird inception moment where I was like, I'm watching it on TV, but it's here. Like, I just couldn't believe it. So my mind created a conspiracy theory that, yeah, they made a set. Five minutes in, I looked around and I was like, Yes, like this place is obviously cool, but I mean like why would they put that much effort in to create a studio? Yeah. I came to my senses and I was like, okay, he's been here, that's cool, let's move on with life. Sadly, the owner wasn't there, so I don't know if he was on vacation in like Barcelona or some shit, but he wasn't present. What's barbecue sauce? I don't know. Wait, do I? Experience this, but this place had a sauce bar. They didn't touch on this on the Dino Drives and Dives episode. I'm just gonna call it Triple D for now. Oh, yeah, it's too hard to say that. Yeah, D D D, Dick Dick Dick, whatever you want to call it. But they had a sauce bar. You could pick how much sauces you want, and I am a fan of when you get to pick out sauces. It's so nice. I hate when you're at these places and they're like, you want extra ranch? 25 cents. And yes, I was doing a female voice, but it can also be a man. But sometimes like, people do say like, you can only get this. Like they do like that type of voice too. People will say like, I went there and they were like, don't park over there. So I think I always do the same thing. I just, it's easier for my register to go up high, but I'm gonna start trying the low thing. It honestly is hard for me to do a low voice. I know like it's way more effort. Oh yeah, I hate when the sauces cost money, but this place of sauces didn't cost money. Holy. this area. <laughs> <laughs> now, the reason why I filmed this clip is because that. Yeah, this is the machine that they took the, um, they made the flour tortillas or whatever from it. I was honestly amazed. Like, no, I, this one, I'm not even joking. I was like, that's cool that like it was in the TV show, not in person. And like, you can call me a little kid for thinking that, but I thought like, that's cool. It's also cool it lasted that long. Cause the show's from like 14 years ago or some shit. And like, they, he was smart when he researched this machine. It's still intact. I know, like I should have asked what brand that was. <laughs> no, that's a good one. <laughs> As you can see, the mail has arrived. Yeah! Round one, California tacos. Both of us got the iconic California taco because if we're going here from the Triple D episode, we're obviously gonna get it. No, that's our most famous item. I got the beef one. I was planning on getting the beef one, but then I was like, wait, I'm gonna get the fish one because I, I, like I, I always am stigmatized by fish at like, uh, Fish at like fast 
food places, and this place is considered a fast food place in my mind. So I was like, kind of hesitant, but I was like, I'm just gonna try it. Who gives a shit? Fish or fears? Yeah, fish or fears. Ah! <laughs> mm. Mine came with taro sauce, which I was kind of like, whoa, because fish, taro sauce, you know, they go together. Ah. Uh, yeah, and um, it was it was good. It wasn't like the typical fast food fish. This fish actually. Um, like look like actual fish. You know when you uh, get a flakes. piece of salmon, yeah, and it flakes, and this fish flaked. I don't know what type of fish it was. I'm just gonna say it was cod. Yeah, C -O -C -O probably. C-O-D. It was good, and um, it reminded me more of a sandwich than a taco, and Lucas is right. It does, he said this earlier. It's kind of like a chalupa. Oh yeah, my beef one was so good. It literally tasted like a glorified, better version of a chalupa. Yeah, I would say it's better than a chalupa. Yeah, because it's like more like of a restaurant vibe kept adding the different salsas to it. Like sometimes I would have an extra spicy bite, sometimes I would just have a little mild bite. And it was so good. Like I was just, and I was, I was loving it. Pussy drip, da drip, da drip, drop it. I think I'm gonna say the next part. Yeah. Pussy sweet, so sweet tea like chocolate. Yeah, my taco was dripping. If you're with someone you feel comfortable with, when you're at a place, any place, you need to do a switcheroo if you got the same thing in different flavor combinations. Yeah, you need to, if you're out to eat with a group of people and you don't try everyone's food, that means there's tension in the group. Not to hate on Jacob, but I didn't like his taco. I don't know if it was from going from a classic beef taco to a fish one threw me off and I just wasn't liking it. No, I was liking your taco, but I've experienced this when you do switch your rules at a restaurant. You end up always liking yours more because you're used to it. And you also kind of want to win this fake contest. <laughs> I know, because it's like, it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, like I got the butter thing. Oh yeah. It always is like that. I never thought about that until now though. I know, like you just want yours to be like the better one. <laughs> Even though like you had no part in it. <laughs> if I went again, I would order yours, but in that moment, I was like, I want to keep eating mine. And you liked the fish for that moment. Round two, chicken, chicken quesadilla. quesadilla. Um. My review is, it was just a basic chicken quesadilla. It's exactly what you'd expect. They didn't add anything. They didn't like make it a twist or something. Yeah, but it was what yeah, it was like you were saying. Like, um, it kind of reminds me of a chicken quesadilla that you'd make at home. But I did like how, did you notice that the chicken had taco seasoning mixed into it? I actually didn't notice. Yeah, I could tell it had taco seasoning mixed into it and I was like, Okay, you guys know what you guys are doing. I think I like stuff more sloppy. Like, I like how a Taco Bell quesadilla, there's wetness in it. Like, I need a sauce in there. But how was it dipping it in sauces? It just wasn't the same. Like, I needed something in there, like some sort of mayonnaise or something. <laughs> just kidding, not mayonnaise, but you know what I mean. Like, some sort of sauce. When we were eating the chicken quesadilla, I realized that I always look uncomfortable because I just was eating the quesadilla, not even being filmed, just eating it, being like, okay, like, let's see how it tastes. And Lucas said, wait, is that something gross in it? Because I guess when I was eating, I was making this face. No, you mean this face, there's this one face that people make like when, they, when they're shocked or something like, like that type of vibe where I was like, okay, bitch, what's it in it? Because I don't want to eat it then. Uh, there wasn't anything. No, yeah, I just was making that face. That's just my <laughs> normal face, I guess. Round three, steak nachos. Supreme. Supreme. I could tell when they brought it that these steak nachos are gonna be deep. And just so you know, we got a mix of flour and corn tortilla. A mix? Because we love mixing stuff. Um, I loved it, I gotta say. The steak was perfect. I don't really fuck with the flour chips. Just personally, they're too thick for me. But the corn chips were to die for. Mm, I mean, I actually didn't really have any corn chips. I mostly upped around with the flour chips. In fact, I only upped around with the flour chips. Oh, that's good. So I like the corn chips and like the flour chips. So it worked out perfectly. God knew his what he was doing that day. It was it, today, so today he knew. Yeah. Thanks, Jesus. When I ate it, I was like, these are so cheesy, and the steak was good. Sometimes you have this thing with steak or just any meat that's cubed. It's like, is it chewy? And it wasn't chewy. I loved like the queso. Oh yeah, and like, there's also beans. I love when um, a thing has beans. Lucas was like, what is this? And I was like, wait, what is that? And then I was like, oh, it's beans. Mm-hmm. Why do, it's beans. I guess that's how I We it. also sometimes were adding a little bit of the green salsa on the chips, just a little extra spice. Yeah, it was a great time. I was, I was having fun. Yeah. I was getting bored of the nachos and I went back to round two and um, I had some chicken quesadilla. And, then I, and, I, and I loved mixing both them, like a bite of this, a bite of this. <laughs> it's too hot, why'd I do that? <laughs> and then I tried a chip with the green salsa on it. Turns out I'm not as badass as I thought because I thought it was pretty spicy. Okay, that's a hard thing to admit when something's too spicy because like that is just so embarrassing. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. But it actually was spicy, so it was, I got what you mean. Round four. Round, Round four. four. Crisp. Crisp. Cinnamon crisps. Cinnamon crisps. I mean, when we got these, I was like, these remind me so much of Amigos. I think Amigos is only in Nebraska. Um, they have this exact same thing, and actually I think Taco Bell might have it. They do, I think. No, this is not good. I don't know if you can see it, but it's spelled. These were good. I actually liked them, and I know they were literally called, they were literally called cinnamon crisps. I just wish they were soggy. Mm. Like, I was just dreaming, like, what if it was a soggy ass tortilla and like dripping? Like, basically, what I wanted was a cinnamon roll. I, I got the ones on top, and it was like, mmm. But then if you go deeper, they have so much sugar and cinnamon, and I was enjoying it. But then Lucas said, like, yeah, it'd be so much better if I had frosting in it and stuff. Frosting on it, like, cinnamon roll. And then, like, it just proves that, like, if you see things through another person's lens, it might ruin it for you. Because then at that <laughs> moment, I was like, wait, these actually aren't that good. I was just making it up. Wait, what? I just realized I'm the most annoying person ever saying, why wasn't it like this? It's like, can you just enjoy what was there? <laughs> Instead of saying, if only it was this. It's like, bitch, just enjoy what's in your actual life. <laughs> but like, Grass is always greener type bitches. I know, you need to be aware of that. We've all done it. Everything was such big portions though. If I felt bad, I was like, I can't eat all of this. Oh yeah, like not, if I go another time, I, I don't eat as much food as we got. But next to the salsa station, there was a to-go station. You could you could pack up your own to-go box and maybe that's their thing, big portions. Because if you have a to-go station, they know that they make a lot, you know? That's true, like we're gonna solve you a lot of food, eat the rest and you get home. Yeah. Make two meals out of it. Meal prep. Meal prep is done now. We were getting done with our munching session. Um, and we realized that right when we were like about to be done, um, everyone left. So I don't know if the game that was on was over or if we just all that disgusting and annoying. Yeah, I don't know if it was us eating grossly, but everyone cleared out of there quick. And it was like in a blink of an eye. Yeah, and this isn't even made up, guys. I don't know what happened, but in a minute's time, Five tables got up there. I don't know, and like a lot of them seemed like they were comfortable. Like there was this one table of like these businessmen drinking. Like they said that they had the vibe that they were gonna be there for a while, but then we looked around and they were all just gone. It was like a Sabrina the Teenage Witch or something. <laughs> Even I was kind of scared because I was thinking like, wait, wait, did they get notified that like there's a bomb in the building? I know, I was like, wait, I didn't know. Yeah, it was like the restaurant under attack and no one told us. But thankfully it wasn't. Yeah, that we know of. <laughs> I mean, we <laughs> left safely, so... Do you want to leave now? Yeah, I'm ready. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Did you get it? I don't think it's gonna work. And that was us eating at one of Triple D's restaurants. There's a few other restaurants near us that we could try. If you want us to, let us know. Thanks, Sky Perreri, and we love you, California Tacos. I guess you could say this is our first episode of Dino Drive-Ins and Drives with Lucas and Jacob, and that isn't official. We didn't copyright that because we don't want to get sued. Stay tuned. Na, na, na. Bye.